from now on, these eyes will not be blinded by the lights. Yeah, I love this movie. The Greatest Showman is a recent musical starring Hugh Jackman and the directorial debut of Michael Gracie, who was handpicked by Jackman as director. This started off as a passion project for Jackman back in 2009, and due to many issues, it took forever to get made. The music is by the guys of La La Land, another classic. So you know this one was good. There were reshoots done by James Van Gold, who did The Wolverine and Logan. But it looks as if those over, were overall beneficial to the first time directorial effort that this is. Now to be honest, I didn't really care about this film when I heard it was coming to theaters. Other than the fact that it was a Hugh Jackman musical. And I'm a big fan of his. But when I saw one of several viral videos behind the scenes uh, that showcased the pitch of this film uh, and the sheer excitement from all the actors, I just couldn't wait. The story is about P.C. Barnum and more than likely most definitely. Takes liberties with who this guy really was and makes it all cheery and feel good. But honestly, who cares? The film was st stupendously entertaining, hard to say, and it felt like classic magical movie making. The story is thoughtful, poignant, and wholly satisfying, while the music, oh my gosh. The music is phenomenal, superb. I may or may not listen and sing along in the car multiple times a week to the soundtrack. It's one of those soundtracks that has weaker songs like any of those, However, you don't want to skip them, any of them. At its core, this movie appeals to the whole family and really just wants to send a positive message of hope for all who are different, as evidenced by the song, This Is Me. I resonate with that message on a deep, personal level due to my creative nature, different hobbies, and not always being supported in that by some of my peers. It's moving, to say the least. Other than creative, factual, and historical liberties taken, my one problem with the film is a subplot involving a singer and where it goes. I understand its purpose in the film, and it creates a stunning piece of music. But it was just a drag otherwise, and it bogged the story down. Really, you could remove the subplot entirely, and maybe with a few tweaks of lines of dialogue, you wouldn't even know it was gone. This movie also has a cool story behind it. It opened to a measly $8 million weekend. Pretty poor. Word of mouth over the Christmas holiday weekend gave it a multiplier, and it grossed $15 million the next weekend, which is a record. Then $13 million the next, and so on and so forth. People have been to repeat viewings, and that just makes the filmmaker in me incredibly happy for this cast and crew. This Is Me won the Golden Globe, and here's to hoping it wins an Oscar. All in all, The Greatest Showman is the best musical I have seen in years, with a touching story, incredible music, and bursting at the seams with heart. An instant classic for sure. I give The Greatest Showman a nine out of 10. Be sure to subscribe for more reviews coming soon.